How's it going? Scott Roberts of scottrobertsweb.com here. And I'm going to try something I don't think I've tried on video before. And that's taking a spoonful of an ultra hot extract sauce. Uh, the one I'm going to try here today is Blair's Ultra Death. Okay. Uh, this is the hottest of his regular production line. Any hotter than this, you'll get into the reserves, which people really don't eat at all. I don't recommend you eat any of those at all. Uh, but this one is the hottest. As a matter of fact, I don't recommend anyone try this at home. You know, uh, Leave it to the idiots like us, the, the chili heads who have uh, grown acclimated to the extreme heat throughout the years. Uh, it's still going to be hot for me. But this one is based off of the old Jersey Death, which is just an estimation, maybe around 750,000 Scoville units. Uh, this is estimated to be a little bit hotter, maybe 800,000 Scoville units. And as a matter of fact, this is part of the 2020 line, uh, the Mark Blair's 20th anniversary in a hot sauce business. And it's the other 20 is, of course, uh, it's supposed to be 20 times, or not 20 times, 20% 20 hotter than his regular death sauce line. So this is 20% hotter than the regular Ultra Death. Uh, and like I said, I haven't done anything like this on camera. And I'm just going to leave this all one take. If I cough for 10 minutes, uh, so be it, you know. I look like an idiot on film, but who cares anyway. So, I'm, without further ado, I'm going to put a good dose of this on the spoon here. And I've only taken little drops of this before. It doesn't look like enough. I've only taken little drops of this before, like in a chili. Let me turn it a little bit so you can kind of see how much is in there. I don't want to spill it. Uh, in a chili or maybe just a dab, you know, a chicken breast tender or something like that, that in there. And it was extremely hot. Uh, this is the whole spoonful. I don't know how many drops worth this is. And again, I do not recommend you try this at home. But let's see what my reaction is. Cheers. Mmm. Actually, kind of taste how crunchy it is. It's already kind of affected my speech a little bit. Uh, I didn't say I don't have any milk or anything. I'm not going to dilute it. You know, whatever happens, happens. Here, heat's building up. Uh, kind of affected my voice. This is pretty damn hot. But I imagine it'll get worse. Right now, most of the heat is kind of back here. Uh, kind of back in my throat. It's kind of kind of moving up towards the front of my tongue. Yeah, it, it's getting a little bit hotter now. I kind of feel it pulsating. And whenever I've eaten these ultra hot extract sauces, it kind of feels like a 360 degree vice grip just squeezing your tongue. You can almost feel the, the blood pulsating through the blood vessels just pump, pump, pump as it kind of squeezes and burns down on it. Uh, yeah, I could feel all the uh, saliva building up in my mouth. It's affecting my speech, as you can tell. Uh, it's getting in. I got eyes watering there. I'll have to take a look at this video when it's done. Um, I usually don't sweat too much. It might be getting a little bit on my forehead there. Yeah, now the heat's building up on my tongue. It's intensifying a little bit more. I'd say it's a little bit less now in the back of my throat and just kind of moving up on my tongue like um, multiple uh, layers of lava. It's like one layer come up, then another hotter layer, then yet another hotter layer. Yeah, it's um, moving up. What's it taste like? It's actually not a very bad sauce for an extract sauce. It has kind of a nice chipotle flavor to it. A little peppery, a little vinegary. But it, it is dominated by the extract taste. Um, this is pretty hot. Uh, again, it's probably just an estimation. Of course, you really can't get an, an exact Scoville count on it. 800, 900,000 Scoville units. And this is the most I've ever had of this particular sauce. I'm kind of repeating myself. Uh, I would say the heat's probably not building up anymore at this point. Um... Uh, now it's kind of more of a numbness on my tongue. Numbness in kind of the back of my throat, the back of my mouth. I can kind of 
feel it kind of burning right here. Like there's a couple of a small hot embers back there. But the rest is kind of numbing out. Uh, I, <clears throat> I don't think this will get much worse. Ooh, got a little bit of that uh, coming back up in my throat there. <laughs> Affecting my speech. I'm getting a lot of saliva in my tongue. I'm not going to wipe it out. I'm not going to drink any milk. I'm just going to ride it out. See how it is. Um, I didn't know quite what to expect. Uh, the only time I've... Uh, I have actually haven't had this much extract sauce. I don't think ever. I've had smaller spoons, smaller amounts. Uh, just at you know, hot sauce shows. Uh, taking Defcon Zero, some of K. John's hot extracts. And like I said, just a drop or two uh, of Blair's and chili and all that. Uh, let's see what minute mark are we coming up. Yeah, I, I don't anticipate anticipating um, any more heat. Uh, but I, I'm gonna stay on camera here just to show you. You know, it's it, it's tolerable. Uh, it's extremely hot, but it's tolerable. Uh, I, I the Buchilokia, and it's rumored to be no one knows the exact Scoville unit of a Trinidad Scorpion, or just a tiny bit hotter of a level. I've only had little pieces of those, and they probably compare to this kind of heat just having little chunks of those at a time. I've never eaten either a whole Buchiloki or a whole Trinidad Scorpion. Uh, I'm getting widespread numbness now. My tongue, if I start kind of mush mouthing, uh, that's probably what it is. It just, uh, I can't feel much of a burn there on my tongue anymore. I can feel saliva it's filling up in my mouth. Uh, the natural reaction, of course, is a spit. I'm not going to be doing that. I kind of swallow there. And, oh, that's, that's not too terribly bad. I was actually expecting a lot worse um, out of this. But anyway, if you're interested in the sauce, I, I don't recommend trying a whole bunch. Just a little drop here or there. Just go to ExtremeFood.com. Uh, try some of Blair's sauces. The Ultra Death's the hottest. And then you have the Mega Death, Pure Death, and all the other deaths. The original Death, nowhere near as hot as this. Uh, kind of the same flavor, but less heat, uh, more, I, I guess, complexity, a good garlicky taste. Uh, so if you want to pick a bottle of Original Death, if you can, try to find one. It's not the 2020 version. Uh, that's the 20th anniversary, 20% 20 hotter. I think somehow the formula might have been mixed up in that a little bit. Try to find a non-bottle of that. Of the original death, and that's one of my favorite hot sauces. I did a video of that on iloveitspicy.com. Just do a search on my favorite hot sauces of all times video, and I it named several others there. Uh, and I really can't think of much more to say. And I probably should end this pretty soon. Uh, heat's going down. It's not bugging me. I don't have it. An intense need for ice cream or milk right now. I think the worst is over. I was able to ride it out. And that's pretty good. One one thing I do have to say right now is I'm feeling this incredible high in my head. It's not a dizziness. It's not lightheadedness. But it's just it is incredible endorphin rush. It feels pretty damn good right now. I love it. If uh, people wonder why the hell is chili heads eat, you know, chili peppers, hot stuff all the time, this is one of the reasons. It's a nice, natural, safe high, this endorphin rush after the capsaicin enters our body. And it's uh, the body's natural reaction to kind of fight it. And it feels good. Uh, and I can't think of any much more to say. So I'll just go ahead and close this video out. Thanks for uh, watching us. And again, don't try this at home. Just watch, you know, the couple of us at Idiots Online try little stunts like this. This is Scott Roberts signing off.